Hey, it's Hoz here, and today I have a great tool to share with you. It's an organizing tool. I use this to organize my day, to plan my entire month, my week, even my shopping list sometimes. It's good for all that. And the best thing is that it's free. Okay, so this is the tool that I'm talking about and this is called Trello. And if you haven't heard of this, then you're going to love this because this is a drag and drop tool that enables you to organize visually whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish and it's awesome. So I'm logged in, this is my dashboard. I have a ton of boards here and they're all filled with information. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new board and that way I don't have to show you all my secrets. And let's call this the um, test board, shall we? Okay. So this is what it looks like. And just watch how easy this is. You get a little board here, and or it's a list actually inside the board. This is what they call a list. And all you have to do is add a title. So I'm gonna say, let's call that Monday. Now, when I press enter, it's going to be the equivalent of hitting that save button, but it's also going to automatically create a new list to save me having to do that manually. So I'm gonna hit enter now, and boom, that's what happens there. So what I'm going to do here is Tuesday, I'm gonna enter uh, Wednesday, you'll see what I'm doing in a second. Okay, you see what I'm, I'm gonna use abbreviations actually, you'll see what I'm doing in a second. So, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to plan my entire week, now let me close that list to make these things look a bit tidier. I'm gonna close that as well. Okay, so this is our list, and here we have the entire week. Now inside these lists, you can add what they call a card. So if I click on this, I'm going to say record video. That's what I have to do Monday, and I also have to do a post. So I'm gonna write, write post for the blog. And then let's say I'm going to promote content. Okay, so those are my three things. Oh, by the way, what I'm doing there is each time I add a card, I hit enter and it automatically drops down one and creates a placeholder for a new card. I'm not going to use this one. So that's my day on Monday. Now watch how cool this is because I can actually click and drag and drop things to any column I want or to any list that I want. And I, of course I can change the order just by clicking and dragging. This is so powerful and so easy to do. I used to do all my planning on notepads and sometimes you plan to do two or three things in the morning and by the time the afternoon comes, you've only done one of those things. Ever had that kind of day? Yeah, I have those every day. Well, with this, you simply click and drag the card to the right list. So for example, I have daily lists as well, and I will create hour blocks. For example, nine till 10, 10 till 11, 11 till 12. You could also do AM, PM and evening. In fact, you know, let me actually do that. Why not? Okay, so I'm gonna call it AM. AM, PM and evening. There's nothing like actually showing the example rather than just talking about it. So let's say we want to record the video in the morning, then we want to write the post, and then I'm going to promote the post, okay? So that's going to be my day. Now I'm not going to get all that done in the morning, not a chance, so I'm going to write the post in the afternoon and I'm going to promote the post in the evening. In fact, no, let's say I'm going to do that in the afternoon and I have something else planned for the evening. Now let's say that things go pear-shaped for me and I just don't get to promote this in the afternoon. I can click and drag that to the evening and so on. Now if something is really urgent, you can edit this um, card and you have a lot of options here. Now I use color codes. So if I select red and save, then that tells me right away that that item is urgent. And if you have a board filled with stuff to do, then it's very handy to very quickly visually spot the ones that are very urgent. Now I use blue to 
mark something that I'm waiting for. So let's say, for example, I've opened up a support ticket with one of my software providers and I'm waiting for an answer on that, then I'll have that in blue. And sometimes I create a list of waiting on. I just call it something like waiting on and I add all the blue items in there. Sometimes I don't even bother coloring them blue. If I know the list is all the things that I'm waiting on, I just put them in there. And once I get a reply and that item is dealt with, I can then edit that card and just go to archive and that's it. It's gone. Now also you can move lists around as well. Now, of course, this doesn't make much sense because I've actually labeled these AM, PM and evening, but you could have lists and I do, I have boards that have lists and each list is something. For example, one list, I have one list which is about the blog and every time I think of something to do with the blog, I need to update the design, I need to add this, I need to remove that, then I add those items in there. They're called cards, but I don't think of them as cards, I think of them as just items, to-dos. So what happens is I'll have a list called blog and there will be a million and one items in there. And then I'll have another list called, for example, YouTube channel. And in there I have things like update thumbnails or record more videos or do this, do that. And I add all those items there. And that helps you keep things very tidy because it's like having a notepad, a dedicated notepad for each and everything that you do. And this works across the board for whoever you are and whatever you do. Let's say you were a car mechanic, then you could open a list for each project that you're working on. So each list could be a car and then you can very quickly add in the, these cards or items as I call them of everything that you need to do for that particular car. For example, get new engine parts, uh, check the brakes, check the suspension, paint it. And of course, once you've got all these items, you can start dragging and dropping them. In fact, you know, let me just create some dummy items here. You can start dragging and dropping them accordingly to fit your schedule. So for example, what I do in the morning is I will look at this. In fact, I look at this throughout the day and I keep organizing things as and when. If you get a phone call and that derails you for half an hour or an hour, then things need to change here. So I may decide that I'm going to record the video in the afternoon and I just drag that in there. But it does really keep things organized. And as I say, I have a daily board where I have different hour blocks and that really helps you plan your day. And by the way, it almost never ever works out the way that you plan it. But you know, that's a different thing. But you do feel good when you get a lot of items done and archived. So let me show you one last thing here, because this is awesome. You can edit this, um, I'm going to call it card because that's a proper name, but you know, between you and I, I don't call them cards. Now you can add a due date. Okay. So this will remind you when this is due. So if you plan your entire month on a board or maybe your entire week, and you're doing either work for a client or you're running your own projects, then some things are always going to have a deadline, whether you have to pay something by such a time, or you have to remember to cancel something by such a time, or you need to go to an appointment somewhere, then setting a timer for this is really handy. Now, let me add one last thing as well. I know I keep saying that, but I just keep remembering all these things is that they also have a mobile app and this is great, especially if you're on the move a lot or if you're sitting down having a coffee for five minutes, then you can quickly open up your board or any of your boards on your mobile and you can click and drag these items like this with your finger. Well, you can use your thumb, you can use your nose if you want. What I mean is that you can click and drag the items on your phone. And this is particularly handy when you're outside or when you're nowhere near a screen. In fact, this happens to me a lot when I'm actually in bed, I start getting all these ideas and I think, damn it. And years ago, I used to write them down on a piece of paper, but these days I just whip out the phone, open up my board and create a item.
and then I can't sleep for half of the night because of the light exposure. But again, that's a different conversation. But what happens then is when you finally get back to your big screen, then you have a list maybe with all the items that you've added when you were outside. This is really handy as well if you have clients and you're out visiting them and you agree on something, then you can quickly make those notes and add them to your board. And then, as I say, when you get back to your big screen, you can then organize them and click and drag and drop whichever way you want. And you can slot each item into the right days of the week or the right time blocks for you to then deal with. Okay, so super cool tool, absolutely love it. And I've been using this for a long time actually. So I'm gonna give you the address here. It is trello.com. Now they do have paid plans as many or most of these tools do, but they are kind enough to offer a free plan and I've been using the free plan forever. Of course, if you're working in a company where there's multiple people or you have a team, then you might want to look at one of the paid plans because they're going to offer you more features, especially with collaboration. But as a one person thing or just to manage your own personal projects, this is a beautiful tool. So Trello.com, go check it out. It's totally free and it's brilliant. While you're here, by the way, please subscribe to the channel and that way you don't miss any of these resources that I keep putting out. And until then, I'll see you in the next video.